everyone. So I'm going to film some kind of bits and bobs shopping wise. I bought a few things from Topshop. So Topshop did the 20% off thing. I did post that I bought some Joni jeans and what else? Oh, I bought some like joggers. I did make a second order, which I didn't plan to do, but there were a few little things that I thought would be nice for stuff I've got coming up. I've got a pair of boots that I'm going to show you as well from Zara and show you the different options. So I've been wanting a dress like this for a good while, which I thought it might be similar to like Kendall Jenner's one. I bought it in a six because I didn't want it to have loads of, I don't know, length to it. I should have bought a petite, shouldn't I? Why did I think that would work? And I wanted it to be quite nice and fitted because it is quite a simple shape. So this one is £29 but I got it with 20% off. Then I bought these joggers and it's like a little lounge set because I thought this would look cute for matching my house. I spend all my life in loungewear so it definitely gets worn. So they're the joggers and then they've got a little crop top to go with. I ordered this in a small but they do look quite oversized probably because it's in the loungewear stuff. And then I just got these little tights, I think that's it. I've been wanting spotty tights since I saw Michelle Keegan. She'd worn some spotty tights. I mean, she looks great in anything, doesn't she? But I thought they would be nice for as we head out of winter. Still time to wear tights. I'm going to get my boots now as well. I've got a pair of boots from... No, I've got two pairs of boots from Zara. So they had a discount on. I was going to buy these boots anyway when they were 100 quid. But they reduced them to about six days. So I'll show you the ones that I think I'm keeping and the ones that I'm sending back. These are the ones that are very Prada like. I mean, as you can tell, they are whoppers. They're a bit like little clown shoes, aren't they? So they were reduced to six day. On me, I think they're just a bit too bulky here. It's not really the clumpiness of them. I think it's perhaps this bit that's just a bit too bulky. I think if you've got like a size three foot. Why have I just put one boot down to pick up the same boot? I would say about these, they don't feel particularly good quality. They're nice because they're so light. I was worried they were going to be really heavy and I just wouldn't wear them if they were. But they don't feel like particularly posh quality for a not cheap shoe. Like I don't think I'd be that happy to spend under a quid on those. I'll show you the other pair that I am going to keep. I think they feel a little bit nice quality. But these are the other ones that I think I'm going to keep. They feel maybe a tiny bit heavier, but not much. They were reduced to 60 quid. I just think they feel a bit more fancy, like a bit nicer quality. So I'm going to... Ah! That were a card cut on my elbow. I'm fuming. I just think they'll be a nice one to have for a good while. Stuff like that, like you can wear it winters for yonks and they're just a sturdy shoe aren't they like they're gonna last a good while they've got the little zip up the side these ones are just like pull on ones so that's the side by side i've got a perfect top on here and a black top so i've got those they're not too much i don't i don't really buy en masse these days i'm trying to be more conscious with what i'm buying and not going mad i don't think there's any need for it if you do know any sustainable brands by the way i would love to start looking at more stuff like that i don't want it to be like people like me aren't thinking about stuff like that it's definitely on my radar it's definitely something that i do quite a bit of research on i know a lot of people that do what i do for a living are conscious of it but i do think a lot of people are so terrified to mention it because the next time you buy a top from zara people are like on your case but I think I'd love to talk about more sustainable stuff. I'd love to talk about better shopping habits and getting more wear out of things. Like that's kind of where I started on Instagram and stuff. Doing things different ways and doing tops for different outfits and stuff. So I'd love to do more of that. And it's so difficult to find that kind of brand. But for this audience, I do think it's a good way to talk about it. Nobody's asking anyone to go fully sustainable overnight but I think it's just about making little changes we've made little changes we've got a bin downstairs for plastic and now we hardly put any rubbish in the normal bin because it's all plastic that we've been using everyone will tell me now I'm using too much plastic but yeah I think it's about little changes I'm gonna get off to Meadowall now so not planning on spending particularly there might be a few makeup bits that I pick up I will take you if there's anything nice in sort of show you 
um, what's new in the shops. But I'm just going for my tea, so I'm going to tidy up this house because I ate when Dan comes home from work and I've swanned off to Meadowall and house is a tip. went a bit tits during the week. Halfway through filming I catapulted my camera onto the floor and broke it. Now this camera has been on its way out for a good six months so it wasn't like a huge drama but not ideal and yeah I had to buy a new one which was annoying so I've had to buy the same camera again and they've not gone down much in price. So I weren't that impressed. G7X, the new one's supposed to be crap. So that was what I've ended up buying this week, which wasn't a planned purchase. Um, I got the PowerShop G7X again, Mark II. I've had this for about two and a half years. I do love it as a camera, so I can't moan about it. I use it every day. It gets very trashed and yeah, it lasted well considering. Um, I have bought this for it it's like a little silicon thing i got it off amazon to just go around the camera to sort of try and protect it it was the lens that i broke so so i kind of got cut off filming my shopping stuff i will show you a couple of things that i did get not too much um i just bought a shirt from h&m and i've got some little like beauty gimmicky things from primark that i'll finish off with i'm wearing my set as well from topshop which I did sleep in last night. Um, it's very comfortable, really nice. I think I could have done with a small on the bottoms. I always like pyjama bottomy type things to be nice and baggy, but I think they're baggy anyway, so I should have probably bought a small, but you can tie them tighter. really like them. I feel like they match really nice with my house, which I know is a bit silly, but I just thought I'd show you them. To the shirts, this is the one that I bought from H&M. I just think it's so lovely. I'm really happy with this. I've worn it about three times this week already because <laughs> it's kind of nice like a jacket as well. I think it was about 24 quid. It's a lovely like denim material and I just think a denim shirt is a good staple to have. I'm really pleased with that one though. I feel like I'll wear it a lot and it's the sort of thing that won't go out of fashion or even if it does it will come back around. One other thing that I bought the other day when I popped to Meda Hall was this Revlon Kiss Glow Lip Oil. I'll pop a little bit on. I really wanted a lip oil, like something that I can just pop over lip liner because I tend to mainly wear lip liner and then that's about it. It's not sticky at all. It is like glossy but not like gloopy gloss. I think this was the only sort of colour that I really liked nuditude i love it and it was just what i wanted like an oil balmy thing that didn't feel like 
You know, when you just feel like you've got so much makeup on and stuff. I want something quite natural. The last thing I'll finish off with is just a few bits and bobs from Primark. I picked up some makeup cloths. These are really good. So I have quite a few of these. Use them every day and they just get everything off. I just don't feel like my face feels clean without using a cloth. So I got some of those. They were £2.50. Then I bought some artist makeup tape just for the, like doing my eyes and stuff because I keep doing like eyeshadow as eyeliner so that might come in handy. Oh and I've seen these on, I can't remember I've seen them but I know I wanted to get some so there were these little scissors that are for your brows, the eyebrow trimming scissors. So they've got like a little comb but they trim your brows as well and I've got really long eyebrow hairs so they're like they go to like here i thought they'd be handy for me last things are from the new andrew fitzsimmons range so i thought i'd try that i got some of these little clips because i do think they're very good aren't they i've been wanting to get some of these anyway just for when i do my makeup and stuff so you don't get like i don't know you don't destroy your hair in the process i got two packs because i'm a bit matchy matchy and I, I want the colours to be the same when I'm using them. And then I also got his texture spray, instant volume spray. So, yeah. I just wanted to give it a go, like something from his collection. We'll see. It feels nice. It feels very dry. I don't like when they set, like sticky, stuff like this. Probably could do with a brush now, so if it looks terrible. It's just because I've not brushed it. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I just thought I'd show you what I got this week and obviously it went a bit tits when I broke my camera. I know some people get a bit arsy as well about hauls not being huge or loads of stuff, but I just don't think it's like me. Like I just don't, I don't really spend that much on clothes. I know I've got quite a few bits and bobs here, but that'll probably last me a good while now. I'd rather just show you bits that I actually really like and stuff like that. I'll pop all the links and stuff in the description for you. And if you would like to subscribe, that'd be super lovely. And I'll see you all soon. Bye.